Okay, I'm here with the one of the hardest working high profile referees in the game, Steve Smoger. Hi. You know, we're here at the uh, Bally's Lang City for the uh, Jamal Davis versus Patrick Majewski car. Uh, I have late breaking news. I got that fight. <laughs> late break. The assignments just came out. Okay. Oh, so do you really not know who you're going Correct. to referee for until? Correct. Yeah, until you arrive. Wow. Then the commission hands you. This is in a non-title situation. If it's a title situation, sometimes the organization emails you, and then you confirm it with the local commission. Okay. Um, so how long have you been doing this? This is my 31st year. I started when I was two and a half. <laughs> And they called me the baby boomer. Now, seriously, I was licensed in this city by then Commissioner Jersey Joe Walcott, September 23, 1982. Wow. So, I don't, were you alive at that time yet? No, not, not yet. Yeah. See, I'll, now you, almost. You're almost there. Um, has the game, um, you know, of refereeing uh, changed through the decades for you? Excellent question. Um, more referees, but not enough work. I do everything in my power, travel wherever I can, uh, license in many, many states and many foreign countries to stay sharp. Only ring work will keep you sharp. So that would be my only comment. Everyone now, they're, they're very, it was much more difficult to get a license when I broke in than it is now. Hmm. So there's an influx of referees, and there's just not enough work for them to excel. So you have to do gym work doesn't do it. You've got to be in the squared circle. Yeah, I've seen you all over the world refereeing, like even some of these uh, bigger, better tournaments. Yes, yeah. Yeah, in these remote European countries. Exactly. Um, so what, what are some of the countries you've been to? Like, how many? Do you know how many you've been well, to? Well, uh, let me say this that with all humility, you are interviewing and looking at the referee that has been worked in more states and more countries in the history since they've been keeping records. Uh, Mr. Peltz uh, just walked in. Yeah. But that's, uh, that's one of the reasons I signed on with Eurosport, to make sure that uh, I keep that record intact. That's great. Uh, Morocco, Cyprus, Lithuania, Latvia, Poland, Paris, uh, incredible, incredible, uh, scheduled for Greece next week, oh. it's just uh, Portugal, Portugal was fabulous, to meet and discuss matters with various officials from these jurisdictions, I'm often asked to give a seminar when I'm there to impart some of my experiences, so it's really been nice. It's been a great, great ride, and I'm glad they appreciate my work. I'm the only American on staff, and they want to give an American flavor of officiating to the young heavyweights that participate in the tournament. That's, when you show up, um, do, you, do you have much time to do any sightseeing while you're in these places? Your questions are right on point. Generally speaking, they bring me in a day early and sometimes allow me to stay a day after. With some of the guys that are flights or Monday, we, we fight on Friday. I generally get Saturday to sightsee. I was just giving rules to Patrick Majewski. And two months ago, I was in Poland and visited Katowice, which is Pope, Pope John Paul's hometown. Spent the afternoon there. Had, lunch in his facility there and uh, even went to mass in his church so you, you you get some of the flavor of the country okay well um, i look forward to your, your work again tonight and uh it's a pleasure pleasure meeting you. my pleasure take care